Hello kids, my name is Guru and today we'll be learning about computational thinking. What is computational thinking and how you can become a very good person with computers by learning scratch programming. So how do we start? First, go to a new tab in your browser and type scratch.mit.edu and this is the home screen this is where all the scratch projects are so if you look at this screen you've got a bunch of featured projects these are the projects created by some other kids that you can explore uh, remix our projects that kids are changing existing projects but the cool stuff is create so let me zoom in we go to create and we click on it and when you click on create it will bring you to this editor this is the scratch studio this is where magic happens this is where you can build programs this screen is interesting there's so many things here how do we start let's start from the right side you see this cat this cat is your friend every time you start scratch program you will see this cat here this is the first character so this window where you see the cat this is called the output window so all the stuff you do whenever you write a program when you run the program you can run it with a green flag which means run go go run my program and the output will be here in this screen let's look at what is this this is called a sprite view what is a sprite sprite is uh, the ability to make a character do things programmatically. So this is a character like a cat and let's delete it. Yes, and if you want a new sprite you come here and you say choose a sprite and we can search and here are all the sprites you will see. Wow, there are so many exciting sprites to play with. Well, for now we will go and say a ball and let's pick a soccer ball and see in the middle of the screen we got a soccer ball now this is the sprite settings the sprite is called soccer ball I can call it anything I can say this is guru ball and now I have a sprite well this is the location of the sprite right now so this is the location we will study location in the next video for now if you say 0 comma 0 x is 0 y is 0 you will see that the ball is right in the middle of the screen and uh, there is show and not show which is if you want to hide the ball you can tap on this and if you want to show the ball you click on this size if you want to make the ball bigger you can increase the size of the ball and if you want to make it smaller you can make it smaller uh, direction the ball can go here the ball can go up and that you can change using the direction now right next to this sprite is the stage the stage is what do you want the background to look like the background of the output window is called the stage right now it's white you tap on it and you can say well I would like to paint something and on the left side let's zoom back in on the left side you will see there is a paint window so click on this square icon and just highlight it and in my case the color was pre-selected if you want to change the color you can go to the fill button and say well let's pick uh, orange color yeah much better and on the right side you will see that our ball is now in a stage in a background that is orange color now the magic part starts in code everything you do is based on code so the left side of the screen these are called all the blocks this is where all the programming happens and these are all the categories so the blocks are divided into separate sections motion if you want to move your characters and sprites you go to motion if you want to change how they look you go to looks you want to play some sounds in your program you go to sounds events you want to detect something well what happens when the flag is clicked what do we do and so on so we will go through these blocks one by one over the next few videos let's get started where is the real magic well the real magic happens right in the middle this is called the coding area and what happens in the coding area well in the coding area you can actually move the blocks right you can take you can go to motion and you can say 
uh, here is my sprite and I want the sprite to do something like move so you can drag this block right in the middle let me zoom in to show you I dragged in from here I dragged in moves 10 steps and as soon as you move 10 steps let's see what happens press take your mouse over move and click and look at the right side oh the ball is moving this is so cool pick the ball and drag it to the left side of the screen okay and now press again see the ball is moving this is how computers work you give them some instructions and the computers do it for you now drag the next block which is turn 15 degrees I'm sure you've studied angles in your school and maths when there is a triangle what is the angle so this case we are saying move a little bit and then turn a little bit and press them and see what happens Ooh. See the ball is going down and the ball is coming up. You know what is happening? The ball is drawing a circle. This is amazing. Now you may ask, Guru, well, I don't want to press it all the time. Why can't it run on its own? Good point. Let's do that. So two things. First, we have something called events. And whenever you want to run the program, you will drag when the green flag is clicked. So this flag, whenever the green flag is clicked, run my program, run all these steps. And two is, well, this is just doing one by one. I actually want to run it in a loop. And what is a loop? Well, the loop says keep doing it based on a condition. So I would say do these two things forever, like do it nonstop. And let's see what happens now. When our flag is clicked, forever move 10 steps and turn 15 degrees and let's press the green flag and see the magic yay our ball is going non-stop this is so cool so what happened was actually go to the rightmost side of the screen and you see my icon this icon which is expand press on it click it and you will see that now we are full screen in our output window and click the green flag again great this is so much fun we have created our first program which takes a ball and then it moves it in a circle non-stop so you learn some basics you learn what is the scratch editor what are the different sections on the left side we've got all the blocks in the block palette we move the blocks in the middle to do something interesting on the right side is output we got sprite we got stage and we got the way to start and stop a program green is start and red is stop anything else yes on the top here there is a menu bar so on the right side there's something called save now because you always want to save your project you can name your project so I can say Curate Academy basics level one and we can save it so if you are not able to save it maybe ask your parents to create an account for you on scratch website and then you'll be able to save your programs and you know what you can actually share your program with others you can write and you can give instructions and you can create studios and you can share your program with your friends you can also do interesting things like you can download your programs and upload your program so you can go to file and say new save now save as a copy load from my computer and save to my computer so when you press save to my computer this scratch program will be downloaded onto your local computer and that is an interesting way to do work and maybe share work with your friends there are so many things to learn i'm sure you have enjoyed this video i will see you in the next video bye bye